It's your boy Jay Freshman. About to just go into making a beat. Start off with my all scale kit. Um, you can pick the best scales. It's just all categorized. So this is the first. So the second will sound nice in this sense. Yeah. And then add a leading tone, which is the seventh. And then add a fifth, which is A. Yeah. That's nice. Mm. Ooh. All right, so we're just going to, um, we're not going to do bass no since it's already have bass in it. We're just gonna do some inversions, so we're just gonna bring these up. Boom. Just bring everything closer. Mm. When you're making a beat, you don't want to get caught up into making the same thing all the time. And the way that you get caught up in my experience is that, okay, you will hear this and then you want to try to turn it into a trap beat, but the vibe is really giving it a different vibe. And you know, if you're combining genres, that's okay. But if your attention was to just go off of the flow of how this beat sound, you just kind of have to go with the flow. And if, but you can still make it a rap track, but it's going to be a different vibe and maybe different sound selections as well. So just keep that in mind. So we got this. Ooh. Dun. And then just kind of hum out some melodies in your head that could go with this. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. So I'm, I want to go like that with a piano to start off with just to get the keys. So it's like... Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the notes that they are, but that's why the scale kit will help because then now I could just, you know, I know what I could pick from. So I could start off like. Dun, 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 dun. So I was like, da -na -na. Da -na -na. so it got to be closer. So, like I said, it's just a lot easier now that I have the um the scale kit cuz I could just easily see what keys I could play in. And then you just go from your air. You really want to make beats from your air. That's the way you're going to make really good beats that stand out because nobody's thinking like you, you feel me? But if you're using the same system like everybody else is and making the same this is how you're going to fall in that trap of making the same kind of beats you really want to st stick to your original idea and the sense of originality is meaning um the idea you had in your head going in and then it came from nothing else even though it did but ooh, see that melody that that those notes then um that was not playing in my head that was an accident but that shit sounds sick So it's like ba -na 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 -na. something like that. Dun, dun. Oh. 
So I'm just keep going from the head. Probably just going to end it off like that. Simple. So the piano is cool. Um, I'm going to show you how you could really just kind of spice it up so it could go along with the beat. And it's really just delay, yo. Delay really is a powerful thing that um, you just got to... That would just make your music sound a lot um, wider and just add more vibes to it. You hear that delay? That just changed everything. So that could go, but I think I like the fourth, even though it sounds a little bit off. But remember, it's all about your feel. tuck it in the background probably add another melody so the way i look at um music when it comes to melodies you just kind of want to balance everything out so so far we got slow and then we got fast slow is the chords and then fast is the melody um you kind of always want to gear towards slow if you're going to put more um other melodies where it's just like simple probably one or two notes that way it just don't get clustered of all different kind of melodies playing fast and all type of stuff if that makes sense you could just kind of a good visual is right here you see how i'm playing more notes in this melody than you know this arpeggio guitar it's just you know even though the guitar is playing no more notes in the sense but it's keeping that same rhythm so hopefully that didn't confuse you but you know you want to slow and you want a fast one then gear towards if you're going to add more layers do slow you feel me so let's see what we can do with just another layer oh shit my ears sorry if i'm talking low g like i said i'm i'm pretty much high yo i'm just <laughs> fucking cooling just want to get this out there it's still value you feel me i'm still making music i'm just like super chill right now So it's like, after hearing that first note of this sound, makes me, I already kind of have a melody, watch. Wow, wow. That, <laughs> that's the worst, but. See, I just pretty much went up an octave. I mean, I did go up an octave, but let's, how, let's hear how it sounds and see how I'm, I'm not playing so much um rhythms is really just you know quarter notes and if you don't know what that means it's just pretty much one for every um beat one note for every beat even though i'm adding this eighth note right here I could have let this one ride out. Like I said, you don't want to get, you don't want to have so much going on. Probably just end it like that. You want to kind of come to a conclusion, so you don't want to just only repeat, especially when it comes to the last four bar or the last eight bar.
And this is simple, like, obviously you could take your time, more time, the better, but come on, man, music is just to get ideas out. Don't get too crazy, you feel me? Just get shit out, yo. Especially if you're doing this to, like, build a brand and all this stuff. I mean, either way, if you're a hobbyist or entrepreneur, whatever, this this create, bro. Besides the whole labels and stuff, this create, man. Just like that. This shit is nice. And then now it's just about leveling. See what's loud, see what you want to stick out. So maybe that ARP is too loud, but let's see. So you can even practice. That's too loud. So this piano, it would sound good. Like I want it to be loud, but I don't want it to be in your face. So what you're going to have to do to get that is this more reverb to push in the back. And cut out the low end. And then now you could just bring in this one. And you want that you want this sound, this arpeggio guitar, you want this to be a little bit lower. I mean, I, I want this to be a little bit lower than everything else because you know it's all about order when it comes to sound um selection and you know velocity balance so if it's too loud like this first of all that's not the sound that i want to stand out so you got to find your pocket so go that's why i said go to the extreme and then you'll find your pocket when you wind it back down that's loud as fuck that's still overpowering and it's overpowering my main sound. This is good, but it's overpowering the melody and I want this to be the lowest sound. So that right there is good, but we want to see if quieter makes it balance more. So let's just go a little bit low and a lot cleaner. And we're going to put more reverb to put this in the back as well. And there you go. This is a clean melody. And see, all it took was just really, you know, taking your time and understanding the few cute Key, key things so you could turn this into like some like a pop you can make it into rap make it into trap and that will be all explained in the next video like and subscribe and stay in tune for the next one